Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. Happy fall! I am so excited for fall, even though I live in the Caribbean, I kind of have to pretend. But um, nonetheless, it is October, which means we can start pulling out our vampy lipsticks, our rustic browns and orangey eyeshadows. Oh, I am here for it. Because I always have so much fun putting on a brown lip and brown orangey eyeshadows, I figured I would jump on here and do a quick tutorial on a full face of fall makeup. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieved this look, then let's get on into it. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with my favorite primer of all time. This is by Marc Jacobs. It's their Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. So this primer is just like super, super moisturizing and it's just gonna give you like juicy skin. It just looks flawless. All right, so once my face is primed, I normally will then go in and do my eyebrows, but as you can see, I've already done them because I kind of wanted to focus more on skin and how I like to do my foundation, my eyes, my lips, and everything. But I think I will do a separate video on, you know, my whole brow tutorial and how I get my brows on fleek. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with foundation. So I have different foundations that I like to use for different occasions. When I want my face to look flawless and just smooth and you know perfect, I like to reach for my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. So I wear the shade Chai, which is one of the newly created shades that Jackie Aina actually did with Too Faced. So shout out to you, Jackie, 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 doing it for the brown girls. All right, so when you see me start to blend this out, you're gonna be like, whoa girl, that's not your shade, it's too dark, too orange. But let me tell you, at the end of this tutorial, it's gonna come together and it's gonna be snatched, okay? I can promise you that. I just really, really hate when makeup looks too light and to avoid that, I go slightly darker and then I'll bring back some of my pigment with my highlighter, my concealer, which you will see very soon. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with concealer to highlight my under eyes and just the higher points of my face. I am using the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer in the shade Medium Beige. So this concealer is actually new to my collection of makeup and I actually really love how it blends out. It just really blends out into actual perfection. No more Oompa Loompa, it's starting to come together already. Even though we've got that natural contour going on right now for this look, I kind of wanted it to be slightly more dramatic. So to take that contour one step further, I'm gonna grab my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Concealer Stick in the shade Deep Neutral. But let me share the tea, sis. These concealer sticks are bomb, okay? They are just so creamy and delicious and they just blend out Amazing! I love these and it comes in a range of colors so you can buy lighter colors to also highlight underneath your eyes. See, look at how that blended out. Like, I love these concealer sticks so much. You see how that kind of just took the contour to the next level? These cheeks is chiseled. And then I'll usually just take the excess from my cheekbones and just dab the top of my forehead. All right, so next I'm gonna set my face with a little bit of setting powder. I don't like to bake because that tends to really dry out my skin. So I just grab a big fluffy brush, dip it into my setting powder, and kind of just wisp it all over my face. So I'm gonna be using the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder in the shade Medium. All right, so now that my face is set, before we move on to bronzers and blushes and highlighter, first I want to go ahead and do these eyes. So first I'm gonna go in with my favorite transition shade of life, and it is by Mel Cosmetics. It's the shade Rubbish from the Rust Act. This is amazing. It's like a yellow-toned brown. 
and it's very close to my skin tone so it works perfectly for me as a transition color. So I'm just grabbing my Morphe Y16 blending brush to blend in my transition shade into my crease. Pretty sure I use this transition shade for like every single eye look. Like it doesn't matter what I'm doing, I always start with this. It's just literally the perfect transition shade for me. All right, so see how that kind of just warmed up my eye, gave it a little bit of dimension. Sometimes I'll even wear this shadow like by itself, but today I kind of want to take the shadows a little bit deeper than this, but this shade is just actual life. All right, so now I'm gonna grab my Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions Palette, which I'm obsessed with. So I'm gonna go in with this shade here, and then I'm just grabbing my Morphe Y18 shader brush. It's like a flat shader brush, and I'm just gonna use that to start packing on the deepness on the outside. Ooh, this is looking a little bit more orange than I wanted to, but we are gonna go with it. So notice I haven't been swiping. I'm just really focusing on packing that color in, and then we're gonna go in and start blending after. Come through pigment, girl. Then I'm just grabbing back my Y16 brush without putting any extra products on it, and I'm just gonna sweep over to blend this out a little bit. All right, I think I'm gonna take this one smidgen a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna go in with this dark shade here and pack that onto the outer corner as well. And I'm just focusing this deepest color on the very outer edge of my eye. All right, so again, grabbing my Y16 blending brush and without adding on any extra products, gonna go ahead and try and diffuse these lines a bit more. Going back in with this orangey shade, just to bring back a little bit of that color. And now just to avoid us from going too crazy, I'm going back in with my Y16 brush once again, but this time I'm dipping it into my transition color and yep, you guessed it, we're blending. So now I'm gonna jump to doing the bottom of my eyes. So first I'm gonna grab my Black Up Eyeliner, which is their Le Cole Smoky Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade KS01. And I'm just taking the pencil and I'm gonna line my waterline. And now I'm gonna grab my Morphe Y21 brush, which is a flat brush, and I'm gonna just use it to smoke out the eyeliner a little bit. I always make sure to smoke out my eyeliner. Like, look at the difference. It just looks better. A little more sultry and yeah. And then using that same brush, I'm gonna dip into the darkest shade that we used on the most outer edge of my eye and then just focus that on the bottom outer edge of my eye to kind of tie it all together. All right, so I think that's it for the eyes. I just wanted to do something simple and matte, and I think we got it. All right, so moving back over to our complexion now, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Natasha Denona Contouring Sculpting Powder to, once again, deepen this contour. And to contour, I'm using my Morphe Y9 brush. Can you tell that I love Morphe brushes? And then to highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and go over the highest point of my cheekbones with the Amrezi Highlighter by Anastasia of Beverly Hills. I'm also using the ABH A23 highlighter brush. It's so pretty. And then I'm also gonna run a little bit of this down the bridge of my nose. And then for blush, I'm going in with my Iman Cosmetics Luxury Blushing Powder in the shade Sunlit Copper. This is like a really orangey blush that I just absolutely love. It gives you that sun-kissed vibes. Yes. Can you tell that I love it? I'm already hitting pan. <laughs> to apply my blush, I'm using the Morphe Y5 blush brush. 
All right, and then I'm gonna jump back up to the eyes and throw on some lashes. For this look, I'm feeling more of a natural lash vibe. So I'm gonna use one of my all-time favorite lashes, which I got locally in Cayman. It's from Shop Jade Beauty, and this is their natural mink lash. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and coat these lashes. So now that my lashes are on, I'm gonna go back in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and just coat my bottom lashes. All right, so the last thing that we need to set this look off is a nice brown lipstick. I'm gonna go in with my Pat McGrath lip pencil in the shade Ground Control. It's like a really nice brown. And then for lipstick, I'm gonna go in with one of the new Fenty Beauty liquid lipsticks in the shade Unveil. I am digging this ombre brown. All we need now is some hoop earrings and we are good to go. So that's it for the tutorial guys, nice and simple, y'all know how I like to keep it simple, easy to follow, but effective, we got the job done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, let me know if you are enjoying more makeup, because I know I tend to do a lot of hair, but I'm actually really into makeup as well. I am no makeup artist, but I do love makeup and I enjoy putting it on. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you would like to see more makeup tutorials going forward. So let me know in the comments below if you would like to see more makeup tutorials going forward. Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.